The Flash is a student forum for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Stay tuned for The Flash. Hey Keegan, how was your first week back since break? I think we can all agree on that. In today's show, we talk about New Year's resolutions, 2016 movies, and the history of an amazing person. Stay tuned for The Flash, Eastview. So Keegan, what was your New Year's resolution? Not sleeping during class. I see that's been going great. Z has more about some of your New Year's resolutions. New Year's is typically thought of as a time where people can make changes and better themselves. So we went out and asked ECU students what their New Year's resolution was. My New Year's resolution is to drink more water and save money. To cut down on caffeine, to eat less meat. I have three New Year's resolutions. One, hit the gym. Two, don't eat out as much. And three, be more patient with my children. I think that I want my New Year's resolution to be nicer to Mr. Wollersheim. Cut back on my sugar intake, whether that's through junk food or through sugar sugary drinks. Start doing homework on time. One of the most common New Year's resolution is to better one's health. Although many people start out strong, not many follow through. So far, it's pretty decent. It was going really well, and I actually was doing it a month before the New Year's. Horrible. <laughs> it, it lasts like a month, then, then I stop. Studies show that only 8% of people actually complete their New Year's resolution. So how can we better improve those odds? I think it's hard, right? Because I think that when you set yourself up to have one resolution every single year, you build up the, this massive resolution that's totally unreasonable. And so because you can't succeed right away, they just throw it. Try and limit your resolutions and keep them rather specific. Also, tell your friends, social support is critical in ensuring that you succeed in your New Year's resolution. Let's stay healthy this year, Eastview. New Year's is typically thought of as a time where people... Thanks, Z. It's great to see that some at Eastview are going the extra mile to make the New Year an even better one. Some people say 2016 was the year of sports, but what about the movies? Star Wars Rogue One was pretty amazing. Jack Mason dives into some of the most watched movies of 2016. And I'm going to count down my top three movies of 2016. Number three. In the number three spot, it goes to Zootopia. Arguably, it was the best animated movie of the year. It grossed $1.024 billion in box office sales. It was a movie directed towards kids, but its overall message applied to all ages. Zootopia is a great choice for a fun family movie night. Number two. At the number two spot is Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I put it at number two because it is yet another sci-fi masterpiece set in the Star Wars universe. This prequel to the original trilogy introduces you to a wide variety of new characters, as well as bring back some fan favorites. In other news, Carrie Fisher, also known as Princess Leia, has passed away at 60 years old. Her portrayal of Princess Leia can never be replaced. Number one. And finally, at the top of the list, the best movie of 2016 is none other than Captain America Civil War. It is the largest ensemble cast of superheroes in any movie to date. It had great action as well as great character development. The unique thing about this movie is that it makes you choose between your favorite superheroes. Though you may go into the movie already chosen a side, but points in the movie can persuade you to change sides. With that in mind, it's hard for anyone to say it was not the best movie of 2016. All right, that concludes my top three movies of 2016. Signing off for The Flash, this is Jack. Those are some great movies to watch with some great people. Agreed. Speaking about great people, have you ever asked what your grandparents' life used to be like? Lucas took the camera to his family gathering over break and interviewed his grandparents. Personalizing history can often make it more interesting to learn about. That is why I asked my grandparents to be interviewed to recall some of their memories from their childhood. I could tell you what my dad told me about the Depression. He said that um, they never really went hungry. Um, 
but uh, they would put out feed and lure pheasants in <laughs> and they lived off like pheasants. And my mom and I were walking to my, my grandma's and on the highway was a whole convoy of military trucks and I was probably about three years old but that stuck in my mind, those, all those trucks. I have all these ration books and some of them are mine but I was too young to remember any of it. Each grandparent has their own account of history. When the war ended, they had a big show of military might. You know how, how mighty all the airplanes and so they flew them over. Uh, they said there was going to be like an area where you could go and they flew military planes over. Now my dad, and, uh, and there's another thing, he was in World War I and he was in Germany. He was in North Africa also. He, he, went, he was in North Africa too? I should have uh, visited with him or talked to him about it. If you have the opportunity, make sure to sit down and have some one-on-one -on -one time with your grandparents. You might just learn something. Signing off for The Flash, this is Lucas. Amazing how much history is behind one person. I know, crazy. Hey Keegan, what happens if you get scared half the death twice? Hmm, that's a trick question. Stay tuned for the credits, Eastview. Hey Eastview, we're out here today. We're asking you guys some tricky questions. Let's see if you can answer them. So how many months in a year have 28 days? One. Oh wait, I'm, I'm stupid. 12. All of them. All of them. One. One month. I want you to think about that again. Every month. Every month has 28 days. All of them. A rooster lays an egg on a roof. Which way does it fall? Down. Roosters don't lay eggs. A rooster doesn't lay an egg. Exactly. It doesn't roll. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a rooster lay an egg? I never saw a rooster lay an egg. It's not fair. I'm not a farmer. I wouldn't know. Roosters don't lay eggs. Megan's mom had four daughters. April, May, June, and... Wait, April's mom? April. No, wait. Megan's mom. Megan, Megan, Megan. 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 July. <laughs> oh, you almost got it. The last one was Megan. Ah, got him. Megan. July. Megan. Oh my god! <laughs> Who names her child April? Oh, well, that actually is a common name. <laughs>